Raw has been months in the making, with the artist experimenting with different ideas and concepts. Carl does not shy away from working with varied materials. Metal, resin, gold leaf and varnish are used. His technique and subject matter are diverse. So how vital is the latter to the artist? To be honest, the subject matter is irrelevant. That's quite a controversial comment, but it, it, it depends. Um, when it's more of a picturesque view, um, it's more based on something that has caught my attention. I'll never, ever do a painting that is just, oh, okay, I'll just do uh, the Rock of Gibraltar and that's it. Um, it I, try and, I try not to do it like a very chocolate box um, uh, view. I, I try to be a little bit more original, um, maybe in the matter of um, capturing an alleyway or the way that something's seen as well. His exhibition was mainly sparked off by his earlier work of the Bayview Clock Tower, which was exhibited at the Royal Academy's summer exhibition. It features three sculptures and one big piece. Carl highlighted a few of his favourites. Basically, with the unmade bed, is how we in life in general get in bed with people, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean in a sexual manner. It can be in business, it can be in friends, it can be in family. Um, you know, how we fall out of friends, how we fall out with family, um, how we, we are conceived, uh, you know, in a bed, but yet we also die in a bed. Um, it's happy and sad. Um, and the bed in itself, um, I see it more as a positive piece, you know, personally, um, but it depends how you interpret it and dep depends what I just look at them with. Um, it's a very abstract piece, so it's a matter of, you know, sitting in front of it or standing in front of it and contemplating what you're looking at. My interpretation of Raphael's um, piece um, basically is is similar concept to the three females, you know. Uh, his one it was the three females, you know, nude, one with three quarter, one with the back and one face on. Whereas mine is, is not as visual as that. M more, mine is more representational. Um, so when you look at the sculpture, yes, that's, you know, the title is the three graces and the three roses represent the three females. But it depends on how you interpret it. Um, and ha also having it formed um, on my piece um, has is also a hidden meaning, um, which if you come to the exhibition you'll be able to find out when you read the description. This latest venture has seen Carl pushing the boundaries and growing as an artist, with some new ideas already in the pipeline. Art-wise, definitely, I would like to uh, push this idea further. Um, whether it is carrying metal, probably yes, you know, 90% yes. But there are other things that I'm thinking about that I feel that if, if done in the same sort of idea as what the metal is done on, um, I think could work really well. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, you know, it's a matter of just getting done a little bit and gritty and, and, and just experimenting, um, like the sculptures in itself. You know? I do like the sculptures a lot. Um, uh, admittedly, they don't sell as well. You know, paintings you know, are much easier to just hang on a wall. Um, but Personally, I think that is, you know, by the way, you know, I do like the, the idea of, of constructing something, whether it is from scratch, like, for example, the, the, the scarred piece, um, or it is a ready-made, you know, um, a series of objects put together to represent something else. Um, either way, it doesn't matter, um, as long as you get your message across, I suppose. Um, positive or negative, it doesn't matter, as long as people are talking about it. Raw will be on show at Space 92 on Irish Town until the end of the year.